Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Here are the 10 richest black people in the world. Number 10, Tony Ilumelu, worth $1 billion. Africa's revered business leader, Tony Ilumelu, has a controlling interest in Transcript, Nigeria's largest public, publicly traded conglomerate, a significant stake in the United Bank of Africa, and an extensive portfolio of real estate across Nigeria. Right along with him is Mo Ibrahim. His net worth is $1.1 billion. British. The source of his wealth is mobile and telecommunications. Born Mohammed Ibrahim, best known as Mo Ibrahim, he made his first big deal when he sold Celtel for $3.4 billion back in 2005. This company was one of the first to serve Africa and the Middle East mobile. In the year 2007, he founded Mo Ibrahim Foundation, which fights corrupt leadership in Africa. This foundation offers a lifetime award that amounts to $5 million, and it is given over a period of 10 years to the retired African leaders whose leadership was seen as transparent. The foundation also publishes the Ibrahim Index of African Government uh, by their ability to ensure sustained economic opportunities and the rule of law. He's also the founding member of Satya Capital that's worth more than $20 million. Right along with him is Theophilus Danjuma, net worth of $1.1 billion. He's Nigerian. The self-made Nigerian billionaire resides in Abuja. He is retired Nigerian general. He served as the Defense Minister of Nigeria. He is the Chairman of South Atlantic Petroleum. Number 7. Folorunsho Alakija. Net worth of $1.9 billion Nigerian. Her so a source of wealth is fashion and oil. The first female billionaire from Nigeria. Folorunsho Alakija made her billions from oil and fashion. She started her business in the 70s after she left her day job as a secretary to focus on her study in fashion in England. Upon her return to Nigeria, she founded Supreme Stitches that catered fashion for women of high society. She is also the founder of Famfa Oil, a company that owns substantial participating interest in OML 127, a nucleative oil block on the Agbami Deepwater Oil Field. Number 6. Patrice Motsepi. Net worth of $2.1 billion South African, source of wealth, mining. Raised in very poor rural area, Patrice Motsepi is the first and only black South African billionaire. He is the founder of African Rainbow Minerals, ARM, a stock exchange listed company in Johannesburg. The interests of the company include platinum, nickel, chrome, copper, iron, gold, and manganese. He is also hold a stake in Samlam, company including which is a publicly traded financial service company in february 2013 motsepi reported that he will be giving away half of his income to charity he has benefited from south africa's black economic empowerment laws which states that companies should be at least 26 percent black owned in order to get a government mining license a whole 26 percent it should be 51 percent like china Oh, oh, maybe people didn't know that. Yes, you cannot own a stake in China in a majority in a company in China. It has to be in Chinese. It is their law. Number five, Oprah Winfrey, net worth of $3 billion American. This is up from her $1 billion uh, a few years back. Oprah Winfrey is the richest African American. The majority of her net worth was generated from her... 25-year proper daytime TV show and earnings from her Harpo production company, which she helped celebrate like Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, as well as Rachel Ray. She continues to support educational courses and has spent a whopping $100 million to build the Oprah Winfrey Learning Academy for girls. Uh, apparently boys can go suck it in Johannesburg, South Africa. And I'm serious. For her, boys can really just go, go die. Isabel Dos Santos, net worth of 3.3 billion. She is number four. She is Angolan. Just did a piece on Angola. You might want to go see that on Shikama Politics. Source of wealth, investments. 
The daughter of Angola's president, Jose Eduardo dos Santos, and the current richest woman in Africa, Isabel, is a very successful investor. Her investments include 25% stake in the Angolian mobile phone company, uh, Unitel, and has 25% stake in Angolian bank, Banco Bic S.A. She also has a few other investments which make her net worth to more than $3 billion. She is currently the richest black woman and richest woman in Africa. Number three, Mike Adenuga. Net worth of $4 billion. He's Nigerian. Source of wealth, oil, and telecoms. Mike Adenuga is the founder of Globalcom, Nigeria's second largest mobile phone network, which has about 24 million subscribers. Adenuga also owns Coinseol Producing. This company was one of the first Nigerian companies to have an oil license in the early 90s. He started making his fortune at the age of 26 when he returned to his hometown after studying in the U.S. Number two, Mohammad Al-Moudi, net worth of $10.9 billion, Saudi Arabia. Source of wealth, mining and oil. The son of Ethiopian mother and Saudi father, he is known to be the second richest black person in the world with a net worth of $15.3 billion. His first made his for, uh, fortune through his oil refineries, real estate, and construction. He was born in Ethiopia, started his business in 1974. He also owns oil refineries in Sweden. Just so you know, oil refineries in the United States have been put on hold and have been on hold forever for as long as I, I've known them. You cannot start an oil refinery in the United States. And number one, and I've done several videos on him, you can go check them out on the Shikama channel, Aliko Dangote, net worth of $15.7 billion in his Nigeria. Source of wealth, cement, flour, sugar. Born in Nigeria, Africa's richest man is looking beyond sugar, cement, and flour. These main three things that has built his fortune, Aiko is now investing in oil, and will be spending over $9 billion on this project. This will help in reducing Nigeria's dependence on importing oil. Aliko, main source of wealth in, in Dangote cement, established in several African countries. And that is the top 10 richest black people in the world. Congratulations to Oprah Winfrey for actually making it. She was not in the top 10 for quite a long time. Thank you for watching the Shikama channel. Make sure to like the video. I'm, I'm stressing likes. Make sure you like the video. That helps me. And go like some of my other videos. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for watching.